hi all we are discussing uh, the different uh, periods of english literature uh, in the last two videos we covered old english period middle english period and started with the renaissance and uh, in the renaissance period uh, there are elizabethan age and jacobian age and carolingian age and uh, uh, commonwealth period so in the last video we discussed elizabethan age and jacobian age and here we are discussing uh, the next two uh, comes under the renaissance period that is the carolingian age and commonwealth period let us see about carolingian age first so the reign of charles i which extend from 1623 25 to 49 is called as the carolingian age the name is derived from carolus uh, the latin version of charles okay this was the time of the english civil war fought between the supporters of the king uh, and the supporters of parliament uh, from their custom of wearing their hair cut short okay so the supporters of the king known as the cavaliers and the supporters of parliament is known as uh, round heads so john milton began his writing during this period this period means the carolingian age so it was the time also of the religious poet george herbert and of the prose writers robert burton and sir thomas brown associated with the court uh, where the uh, cavalier poets the writers of witty and the polished lyrics of courtship and gallantry the group included richard lovelace sir john suckling and thomas carew robert harry called though a country person parson is often classified with the cavalier poets because like them he was a son of ben that is an admirer and follower of ben johnson in many of his lyrics love and gallant uh, compliment in robin uh, skelton uh, and cavalier poets okay so that's about a uh, carolingian age now moving on to commonwealth period that also comes under renaissance uh, period so the commonwealth period also known as puritan intragram intragram okay puritan intragram extends from the end of the civil war and the execution of charles i in 1649 to the restoration of the stuart monarchy under charles ii in 1660 in this period england was ruled by parliament under the puritan leader oliver cromwell his death in 1658 marked the dissolution of the commonwealth drama almost disappeared for 18 years after the puritans closed the uh, public theaters in uh, september 1642 not only on the moral and religious grounds but also uh, to prevent public assemblies that might uh, form a civil disorder so it was the age of milton's political pamphlets of uh, hobbes uh, political treatises okay lavithian uh, for of the prose writers uh, thomas brown thomas uh, fuller uh, jeremy taylor and the sack walton and of the poets henry vaughan edmund waller abraham cowley uh, sir william uh, debenant and andrew marvel etc okay so that's all about commonwealth period and by this we conclude the renaissance period okay so the renaissance when you talk about renaissance period renaissance period includes all these elizabethan age jacobian age uh what else carolingian age and commonwealth period okay now we have will be doing with the neoclassical period in the next video okay thank you